Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Sox straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Generation Sound Blaster from the Fall of Cybertron line. And that includes Buzzsaw. Let's take a look at the box. There he is, Sound Blaster with Buzzsaw. Fall of Cybertron. Easier transformation, two out of three. Is a Decepticon, if you didn't know, Fall of Cybertron. Here's top of the box, side of the box with Frenzy, Rumble, Ratbat, Ravage, whatever. And here's the back of the box. It doesn't look that good. Maybe the Japanese version does. Here's his bio. Communications truck mode. Yeah, that's a stretch. Stat sheet. And the bottom, the data disks for Frenzy and Ratbat and Rumble and Ravage. Cool. Also, let's take a quick look. I mean, this is a Cybertronian truck. Yeah, communications truck. Like I said, a stretch. Rolls all right. One of the things I don't like is the fact that and the paint apps, at least in my vehicle, are weird. They have paint splatters, not very even. I do like the coloring, like the gold, even though it's not sprayed that great. Silver, gray, so you de definitely colors here. Bronze on the top, burgundy here, burgundy Callan. Uh, Decepticon symbol. I like the clear, the clear fuchsia or whatever color this is. Red. I think the wheels are different colors. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is red and that's more of a fuchsia color. Weird. So gray, gunmetal gray. Don't like this. Um, there is some spray paint overspray there, and I think it's just a quality control issue on this thing. It is what it is. It's a truck communications. Yeah, kind of like stretch. <sighs> See the spine, and the old driver's seat. I like the cannon though. The cannon's not bad. I like the current. Yeah, it's hard for me to recommend it. Five out of ten. All right, let's go ahead and transform this bad boy. Take the cannon off first thing. So doing fine so far. Then we're gonna move this sucker back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're gonna pop. Sorry, pop the legs off. There we go. This cannon right here is going to move up forward. There we go for now. Pop the legs off. Good to go. And what we're going to do is just rotate them out. Put the legs up. And same thing with the other side. Put the little foot down. Cool. And this thing actually pops off. There we go. And that tabs in like that. And if you want, you can put these legs down. They do rotate. It's really up to you. I really don't mind. So we're just going to leave them up for now. If you want to rotate them down. You know. the instructions say you can leave them down. It's really your personal preference. Alright. Next thing we're going to do the arms. Arms tap in. We'll move that back. You can see his head, which is nice. They do have tabs, which I do like. This guy is barrel chested. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna move that arm up. His okay, so arm up. And then we're gonna move the tires out the way, which they don't tab, and I really am disappointed with that. Move the shoulders up, and they don't tab. So separate. I like the tab that goes in here. Then tab the shoulder back up, which they don't tab, but it's sturdy. So at least the joint is sturdy. Fold this plate up that covers his head to the back like that. Same thing on this side, just fold it up. Doesn't really tab again, but it's sturdy enough. His fists, well molded, but just hiding. And they come out. And that's it. Oh yeah, that, this thing, just put it, just fold it back down. And it's neatly sturdy. Doesn't tab, but folds out of the way neatly enough and then we can put his cannon either in his fists which do swivel which I'm not a big fan of but it's okay preferably I like the G1 and Q and G1 I like the G1 method of doing that so yeah there we go looking good put his... all right not bad is what it is. Well, one thing I did wanted to compare it with is with the Japanese version. I don't know if you can tell, but the Japanese version does have a lot more fuchsia. 
you can tell it on his head and in his shoulder blade and his fist guard or whatever much more silver paint apps and his Decepticon symbol is more pronounced and Ratbat's a little gold color sorry I keep calling that buzzsaw speaking of buzzsaw he's hidden here in the ejection seat yeah there we go just the eject button right there bam and just push the spine out there's a spine so you can actually hold three discs in here yeah he's in there snug he transformed he is so easy to transform it's not even funny there's this little button right here all I have to do is press that and it, it, he'll transform so no problem all I have to do to transform him back is just go fold that and fold this and fold that easy I love the detail on this I like the spring gimmick I like the Decepticon symbols from the back you can tell the silver data disc I mean it's hidden really well I like this and the button right here if you if it lands perfectly <laughs> you'll transform yeah I like it's not bad the only thing I don't like you don't have any feet so he's kind of hard to pose or actually here we go set back just a bit so you can see it's hard for him to pose anywhere and I really do not like these fists they just don't get in I don't like it so if you wanted to pose him very G1S style sitting on his yeah it's kind of hard because you don't have any feet All right, it is a stretch there we go not bad I mean it is what it is okay for articulation the shoulders do move they move up and down it's not supposed to go that so they go side to side and does their swivel joint right there bicep swivel at the elbow this elbow does rotate good and one thing is you do have a swivel on the fists so it's not bad but I just cannot get over the fact that it swivels up and down it doesn't lock too well so it, it is what it is it's not looking too bad I like the chest I like the detailing on that no head articulation although it does have light piping which I really enjoy if it shines here there we go yeah look at that light piping really nice no swivel on the hips or sorry the waist which man what a ah, man and that doesn't lock in I already told you about that all right the hip does swivel side to side it does swivel side to side up and down thigh swivel here single joint on the knee which is satisfying ratchet joint made in China as always and a swivel in his big clown feet which is good and of course all right, so the guy isn't horrible I'm just not digging those it just has a lot of flaws I'm just not digging it okay there we go not horrible this first size comparison I do have my boy G1 which G1 there we go He's slightly bigger than G1 so you can see that so he is Voyager size class see if it, there you go there he is with all the gang and just for size comparison there's Megatron the deluxe class figure it's a slightly slightly bigger than him all right youtubers I'm gonna rate him a 6 out of 10 5 out of 10 for the vehicle mode that's all I got, YouTubers, and i catch you all next time.